Today we're talking Baumercier and the Capeland. You ask questions and I answer them. Are you guys nuts? What am I talking about? It's super cool because of the gentle design. Boom, watch fam. What is up, watch fam? Welcome to episode 50 of Ask TNH. It's been a long road to get here, but we have arrived at episode 50, which is half of 100 and almost to 75. I used to do it in the beginning of the series, like, you know, make a stupid, you know, obvious numbers thing. But it's just not funny. It wasn't funny then. It's not funny now. Um, it's Thursday. Uh, yesterday, we had a really awesome Vacheron Constantine article. Check it out. It was uh, linked below. It's, it was, it, it, the link is below in the box. It was just fucking awesome. Um, I had the opportunity to just wear a friend's Vacheron, uh, like a tonneau case, for like a week. It's unbelievable. But that's it. Let's start to get into the questions. What are your thoughts on the Bauman Mercier Capeland? So I know you're talking about the three register chronograph because we had this conversation. Uh, whoever you are, you know, I, you know who you are. I don't actually remember your name. I'm sorry. YouTube, you know. Um, so I know you're talking about the three register chronograph, but there are actually, what, I think three different models of the Capeland line. So that's something to note for a second, and it makes no f***ing sense. That's number one. It's three separate watches. Not color combination. It's just, you know, they're, different, they're more than that with colors, but... Not a color combination. I'm just talking about three literally separate watches. You can't call them all the cable. That doesn't make any f***ing sense, you know? All right, whatever. I guess I, that's like my overall impression already. Like, that was just annoying. Um, but into the watch that you actually are talking about. Um, I think it is a cool watch. I think it's too big, way too big for me at 44 millimeters. Uh, I think that that would look a little ridiculous on my wrist, and I think on the wrists of many, even though a lot of those people don't think it looks stupid on their wrist, I think it does. But uh, it is still a fine size for someone with a larger wrist. There's, there's really no problem with that at all uh, if you have a larger wrist. I think a lot of the Panerai's people wear are actually larger than that. Um, so fundamentally, the size for me is way too big. For a lot of people, is way too big, but it actually is okay. I'm not insulted by it. Um, I guess next to the to the dial conf dial configuration, I think it's I think it's a solid configuration. I, I, you could just pull up full photos of, of all of them. Um, I think the date wheel, which is usually the biggest problematic point um, on chronographs, particularly three registers, because they're even extra busy, is. Um, here is okay. I mean, take, take a look. It really is. It, it's okay. You know, there's no, there's no problem with it. And I've seen, I mean, like bad ones. My favorite of the dial colors, they're all the same configuration, but the color is the blue. I think the blue is, um, I just like blue, blue dials. I just like blue dials a lot, you know? So, um, I mean, I'm, so I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's, it looks really well. It looks really good. It goes really well, goes really well, uh, with the black and the red. They didn't abuse the red, which was a kind of a cool thing, uh, because a lot of brands, they just abuse their accent color. Uh, and I like the way black and blue go together. Go together. I know people think that's the worst combination ever. I violently disagree with them. So uh, as far as overall color, I think it's interesting, for sure. Um, I guess as far as what does this watch compare itself to, what is the league it's in? You put it in the league with like, the Longines Heritage uh, line, it's solid. You know, I think that the Longines Heritage line has a very similar problem that this has with the size. Uh, but that's, I mean, apart from that, that's kind of a subjective, that's not it's kind of, it's very subjective. Uh, so that's not really that big of a problem. Uh, as far as price is, actually, you know what, let's go to movement first. As far as movement is concerned, I believe, I'm 90% sure, um, it's a Valjoux 7750. And if it's not, it's just another Valjoux movement, which is the same exact thing, which is perfectly fine. I love those movements. They're easily serviceable. They're not for, you know, uh, like the, the watch veteran who's looking for the next, you know, crazy piece. But it is a very reliable movement. I mean, I would 100% wear that movement. No problem. I would, I would own that movement with pride. But 4500 bucks is a little bit steep. I would not recommend someone below $4,600 on that. I would say, hey, you know, deal with the size, go down to 40 and find yourself like a cool vintage Wittenauer or something. So price, yeah, price is a little too high. But, you know, my closing, it's a good watch. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a good watch. I don't mean like it's this, it's fine, you know, piece of horology. It's a very good uh, watch. I think the configuration is quite nice. I love the blue. Um, I way prefer it on the uh, strap, the crocodile strap, than I do the bracelet. I think the bracelet looks a little, makes it look a little clunky, uh, but the strap is gorgeous, and it's black too, so it really kind of brings base uh, to the watch. But overall, don't don't pay retail. That's my only real note. Don't you dare pay retail for this watch. 
that's it. If you didn't see uh, the prior episode of Ask TNH, we talked about uh, scratch serial numbers, which is actually really not only interesting, but very important for Rolex buyers. So check that out right here. Um, we did a Vacheron article yesterday. Check that out on theoandharris.com. The link is below in the box. Uh, I, you know, it was just such a geeky porn, watch porn kind of week with that watch. Oh, God. Uh, and then finally, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That's it. Thank you guys for watching uh, episode 50 of Ask TNH. See you guys soon.